As part of the broadband data collection, entities have the opportunity to challenge the mobile broadband availability data shown on the FCC's broadband map or to submit crowdsourced information in response to that availability data. Service providers, governments, and other entities and organizations can submit challenges or crowdsourced data for a set of locations by uploading bulk mobile challenge, bulk mobile crowdsourced data, or bulk mobile verified on the ground data in the BDC system. Bulk mobile challenge data must be submitted in the BDC system via file upload and must conform to specific data specifications. More information on the bulk mobile challenge process can be found online at the BDC Help Center at help.bdc.fcc.gov. After logging into the BDC system at bdc.fcc.gov, select your entity to navigate to the submissions dashboard page, which is where you can begin the bulk mobile challenge process. To start the process, click the Create Submission button. In the window that appears, select Crowdsource Challenge as a submission type, and then Bulk Mobile Challenge as a Crowdsource Challenge type. Clicking the Create Submission button will close the window and create a link for a new Bulk Mobile Challenge submission within a table on this page. A quick note, this video tutorial focuses on the Bulk Mobile Challenge process, but the Bulk Mobile Crowdsource process and the bulk mobile verified on the ground data process follow a very similar workflow. To initiate either of those challenge types, you can follow the same steps on this submissions dashboard page, but select the bulk mobile crowdsource option or the bulk mobile verified on the ground data option within the crowdsource challenge type within this window. To continue the bulk mobile challenge process, click the link created within the crowdsource challenge submissions table. This page is where you can begin entering your bulk mobile challenge data. Upon your initial visit to the page, you will see two cards or tiles, a submissions card and a total tests card. The submissions card displays a total count of bulk mobile challenge submissions you have filed from your entity. The FCC can review each individual submission from your FRN and can accept or reject your file based on the data you've uploaded. This is depicted by the under review, accepted and rejected counts here. The total test card displays the count of individual speed tests contained within your submissions. For example, if you upload and certify a mobile challenge file with 50 speed test records, the system considers that as one submission containing 50 total tests. For mobile challenges, the total test count includes four subset of challenges. Pending FCC processing, which is the count of number of speed tests from your accepted submissions that have yet to be processed by the FCC, the rejected invalid subtype is a count of speed tests that have been rejected as invalid during the FCC's adjudication process. The subset of accepted for challenge process is a count of speed tests that have been accepted to be included within the FCC's mobile challenge process. Finally, the included in challenge count is the number of speed tests that have been included within a challenged hexagon. It is important to note that the total test count will only include a count of challenges within accepted submissions. For example, if you upload a file containing 50 speed tests, but that submission is either under review or has been rejected by the FCC, the total test count will not include any records from that submission. Once a submission has been accepted, the total test count will be updated and a table on the bulk mobile challenge page will be populated with your mobile challenge data. Entities submitting mobile speed test data into the BDC using their own software and hardware must provide information on their data collection methodology. This must be provided at the same time those entities are uploading their speed test data. To begin the process of adding your data collection methodology, click the Methodologies button beneath the Submissions card. Then click the Create Methodology button. You will now see a three-step workflow that you must complete that includes Add Details, Upload Narrative Document, and Add Servers. To begin the methodology process, click the blue edit button on the add details page. Within the modal, enter your information in the methodology, technology and environment, antenna, and data plan sections. Category here, any supported technologies, a testing technology of either in-vehicle or outdoors, an antenna type of external or internal, and a data plan type. You may also enter an optional description in this field here. Now 
After saving your information, you will see a green check mark in the Add Details card, and the Upload Narrative document and Add Servers cards will be unlocked. You will also see a summary of the methodology details you provided. If you need to modify your methodology details at all, click the blue Edit button on the right side of the screen. Within the second step of the methodology workflow, you will need to upload a narrative document describing your methodology. Click the blue Upload button, then select a file from your local machine. Click the blue Upload Data button to upload your file. Acceptable file formats include doc, docx, PDF, ODT, and text files. After your file has finished processing, you will see a status of valid data, and the Upload Narrative Document card will update with a green check mark. For the third step of the methodology workflow, you will need to add servers used for your methodology. From the Add Servers card, click the blue button and enter information for server name and type, as well as server client. Quick note that when adding your server, if you select geographically distributed nationwide test servers with common configuration for your server type, you will only be able to add one server for your methodology. If you select non-distributed region-specific test servers for your server type, you can add multiple servers for your methodology, but each must also include a server location, state, and county. If you wish to add multiple servers, the server type for each of those must also be non-distributed region-specific test servers as a server type. There are multiple optional fields that you can enter in information within this modal. To complete the server client section, you can click the blue save button to close the modal. You will now see a green check mark for the add servers card, and your methodology is now complete and ready to use when uploading your mobile challenge data. Clicking on this methodologies link here will return you to a table that displays all methodologies you have created. If you would like to add another methodology, you can do so by repeating the same process. To continue onward with your bulk mobile challenge submission, click the submissions dashboard link then return to the Mobile Challenges section. To initiate a bulk mobile challenge submission, click the blue Create Submission button, which will then present you with a three-step workflow for providing a bulk mobile submission. Once a step in the process is complete, you will see a green check mark within the respective card, and the next step in the workflow will be unlocked. To initiate the process, click the blue Upload button. A window will open and you will need to select a methodology that you used when compiling your data. If you use one of the FCC approved speed test apps, you can select that here. If you would like to select a mobile speed test methodology that you created within the methodology section we demonstrated earlier, you can also select that option. Next, select the JSON file from your local machine containing your bulk mobile challenge data, and then click the upload data button. Your file will undergo a series of validation checks, and if the file fails these validations, a new file will need to be uploaded in its place. You will also see a reference ID presented to you as your file is being processed. This ref ID is unique for all submissions uploaded within the BDC system. When your file upload is successful, you will see a green status of valid data, and a file summary table will appear displaying a count of provider technology combinations pulled from your data. The Provide Additional Description card will also be unlocked. If the information displayed in the file summary table looks accurate, you may click on the Provide Additional Description card to proceed. If you wish to upload a different file, you can delete your original file and restart the upload process. Within the Provide Additional Description section, you may provide a text description of the data you have uploaded. Click the Edit Description button then enter any descriptive text you wish to accompany your challenge submission. When complete, click the blue Save button, and you will see a green check mark for the Provide Additional Description card, and the Certified Data card will now be unlocked. If you wish to modify your description, click the Edit Description button here to alter the text you have provided. 
You may also delete the description by clicking the trash can icon. If you do not wish to provide any additional description text within your mobile challenge submission, click the checkbox signifying that as your preference. On the certified data card in the system, you can view a brief summary of the data you have included within your submission, including challenge file name, record count within your submission, a timestamp of when you uploaded your data, and whether you have included a methodology description. If you would like to edit any part of your submission, you can do so by clicking on the upload challenge file or provide additional evidence cards to return to those steps. You can also click on the view map link above the blue certify button to preview your submission on a map. This preview map allows you to view each individual challenge location included within your submission. You can filter the map by provider and technology and hovering your mouse over an individual location will display additional information for that challenge in a tooltip. This map behaves the same as other maps within the broadband data collection, allowing you to pan and zoom to view more information on your challenge data. You can also click the globe icon to zoom to a map of the continental United States or click the layers icon to toggle the base map you wish to view. If your challenge data is depicted accurately on the map, you can return to the certified data page to complete your submission. Simply click on this certify button here, read the certification text and enter your contact information within this modal. You can also click this checkbox here to automatically populate the fields using the information you previously provided on your entity information page within the BDC. Once you've completed the contact information, click the Certify Data button to complete your submission. You will now be presented with a Certified Submissions page, which displays a table of all bulk mobile challenge submissions you've submitted for this FRN. Because this is my first submission for this FRN, my table only includes one row. However, if I were to certify another submission, this table would then display multiple records. You will also see that my status is displayed here as under review, which means that the FCC is currently conducting an initial review of my data submission. If my submission is accepted by the FCC, this status will be updated to accepted, and the individual challenges included within my submission will be sent to the provider. If my submission is rejected for any reason, this status will be updated to rejected and my individual challenges will not be submitted to the provider. I can also view the methodology I used to file my submission within this table. I can click on the bulk mobile challenge link here to visit the bulk mobile challenge overview page. On this bulk mobile challenge overview page, you can see that my submissions count has now been updated to one, which reflects the under review submission that I just completed. My total test count is still zero and will remain so until I have a submission accepted by the FCC. For this example, I am going to display what the page will look like when a submission is accepted by the FCC. Off screen, I've just accepted my submission. So as I refresh this page, you'll now see that my submissions card displays one accepted submission. and My total test card now displays a count of 32, each of which is pending FCC processing. I can view the challenge data from my approved file within this table on the page, and I can filter the table by ID, methodology, provider, technology, and status. For each record in the table, I can click this View Details link here to see additional information for each challenge. This information includes a date received and status for the challenge at the top of the modal, as well as additional information that was included within my challenge file. At the top of the page is a view map link, which will display a map of all challenge locations across each of my submissions. Because I've only certified one submission in this example, my map is only displaying the 32 records included in that submission. However, if I had multiple certified submissions, this map would display location, point, location points across each of my certified submissions. One additional feature on this map is the ability to filter by status. In this case, all of my data points are listed as pending and as such are displayed by yellow dots. 
However, if any of my challenges are accepted or rejected after the mobile challenge adjudication process, they will be reflected on this map by a red and green dots. And I would then be able to filter the map by accepted or rejected statuses. From the bulk mobile challenge overview page, I can also click on the certified submissions link here, which displays an archive of every submission I've certified for this FRN. You'll notice that the status from my previous submission now says accepted, where before it was under review. The reference ID here is clickable and allows me to review the data I've included in my previous submissions. From here, I can download my original challenge file or evidence data by clicking on the link for the file name. And I can view evidence details and additional descriptions that I included within my submission. I can also return to this view map link on the certified data page to see a map of data associated with this specific submission. This can be useful in cases where multiple submissions have been certified and you'd like to view maps by submission rather than by all challenges associated with your FRM. This concludes the walkthrough of the BDC bulk mobile challenge process. For additional information, including data specifications and video tutorials, please visit the BDC Help Center which can be accessed at any time by clicking this help link within the BDC system.